Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 in our European Journeyman series at Brighton. Now we are continuing our campaign to get into those automatic promotion places. We're currently ahead of West Ham uh, on goal difference but with a game in hand which is crucially important. We're currently seven points behind leaders Norwich so we're still unbeaten after we've lost two games. Uh, so work for us to do there. After a humiliating turnover against Everton when we led 2-0 at half-time and lost the game 3-2, we do need a reaction today against 19th place Cardiff. I'm putting out a strong team to try and get that reaction. We've got another match against Charlton after this one before the international break. Um, and then we get a couple of weeks off before taking on Swansea and Bristol City. But this is quite a crucial period of time that we're running into now um, getting up to that Christmas period I want to be in the top two by some distance by the time Christmas comes so we have to start getting the wins now for this match we are going to be playing with Frias, Cupidon and Embom up front with Bueno coming in for Bacaria and Fernandez in for Max Morris. Uh, Marion is at left wing back with Soler, Andres and Lambezi at centre back, Carlos Eduardo at right back and then Amigo in goal. Marin with the throw, puts it into the middle, it's cleared out to Fernandez, who just about keeps it in. Now Bueno, finds Frias, on to Embom, across to Cupidon, and he's found the bottom corner. A nicely placed finish, his first goal for the club, and he does put us in front. Free kick from Frias, out wide to Carlos Eduardo, he's got two across the box, he finds Embom, and we do make it 2-0. Um, and we need to hope that Cardiff aren't as good at as Everton at overturning a 2-0 lead. Carlos Eduardo with the throw into Lambeze, back to Eduardo. His cross comes to Fernandez, who on the volley has rocketed that into the top corner. What a way to get your first ever goal for the club, and he's made it 3-0. Marin with the throw, finds Cupidon, now Andres, on to Bueno. Fernandez to Frias, Bueno again. Nice passing play around midfield. The team look like they're enjoying themselves today. Frias looking for Marin. The ball cut out. Martinez all the way back to Zanev. He's then dribbling the ball out and does eventually send it forward. Header won by Andres again. Now Frias on to Embom. Frias making the run. He's through two defenders. He's in on goal, but he's put it wide. Bueno with the corner towards the back stick and the headers come to Soler who makes it 4-0 and that is this game very much sewn up. Well, there's just a few seconds left now, separating us from three points and getting back on the winning run for this episode. I'm hoping we'll be able to get four straight wins, which would certainly recover the loss in form we had in the last two games. But we totally destroyed Cardiff today, 4-0, total control of the game. They didn't even get a shot on our goal. Our keeper may as well have not been there. Um, and it has put us... Two points clear of Huddersfield with a game in hand. Um, but West Ham also now three points behind us, uh, having played the same number of games. And we've also caught up with Norwich, who must have lost today, um, or certainly lost yesterday, because we're now just four points behind them. So that was a very good result and a good day for us. Well, we need to be at our best away from home against Charlton to get three more points ahead of the international break. After dismantling Cardiff, I'm hopeful the team can do it to another team now occupying 19th place in the championship, and it should be another three points on the board. Now, to achieve that, we've got Frias, Bueno and Cupidon all up front with Bakaria and Morris back in central midfield. Then it's Marin, Soler, Andres, Lambezzi and Carlos Eduardo with Amago in goal. Eduardo with the throw-in. He's given it straight to Charlton there. Black with the ball. Into the middle. Bakaria wins it back. Bueno back to Bakaria. Now Frias. He's got a good run in on goal, but he's put it wide. Belayed throws the ball in. Bakaria cuts it out. He looks like he's having a decent game. Now Frias. Back to Soler. Bit of space. Bakaria onto Morris. Coop it on. Over the top there. He's got Marin trying to get after it, but Belayed has got there first. Sent out to Hendry. He's then giving it away to Cooper on. Somehow ridiculously, and he's nearly scored. Cooper just tipping it onto the post. But a really silly mistake from the defender there for no reason. But Soler's just giving it away as well, and Black has actually punished us for it. I was just making fun of the Shelton defender, and obviously, at the other end in the same highlight, we go and do the same thing, and we're now losing to 19th place Charlton. Corner from Bueno. Ten minutes to half-time. Cleared out by Belayed. Marin has it. Now Bakaria. 
into Cooper Don, and he does find the bottom corner, bringing us back on terms. Finally, Sully Cooper Don looking like a decent attacking midfielder. Eduardo with the throw in towards Cooper Don, headed away. Eduardo back in, but only to Pozo. He's put it out to Concha, but Marin with the header, belayed back to Concha. Turn inside, but Bakaria wins it. Bueno gives the ball away. We just cannot retain possession. Black, out wide, looking for Belayed. He's coming inside. Two in the middle is waiting for, but Amago does have some safe hands there to pluck it out of the sky and send it back out to Soler, who I'm hoping won't do something silly here. He does just pack it, pass it to Bakaria. Now Bueno puts it over the top. Coupadon's in. Can he get a second goal? He's put it wide again. Very nearly half time in a game that we've totally dominated but are somehow still level. Marion's header to Bakaria. Now Frias puts it over the top and Bueno's in on goal. We haven't seen much of him lately and he's put it well wide again. How much do we need an attacking midfielder with high finishing? Cooper sends the ball long and forward. Salai wins it but Borges has it back. Now it's Belayed coming down the right side. Charlton's still looking dangerous. And he's put that cross in. It's headed away, but only as far as Baker. Morris does win the ball. Cooper on. Over to Bakaria. Now Andres sends it out to Marin. Can we counter-attack? Frias. Three players over. Bueno is one of them. He puts it over the top. Eduardo's in on goal, and he's hit the post. Free kick from Mbom onto Soler. He then finds Mbom again, slips it into Coupadon, and he has managed to find the inside of the post there. It just clipped it on its way in to make it 3-1 and assure us of our three points in a game that we really, really should have absolutely annihilated Charlton from start to finish. 26 shots, 12 on target. We do at least have three goals, and that will mean three points. Final corner coming in. Cooper's got to the ball. His kick should be the last of the game, um, and the ref should blow his whistle any second. Finally, there it is, and 3-1, we do get the win. Two on the bounce now, hard fought, but very well deserved, um, and it means that we're in a better position heading into this international break. Just one point behind Norwich, who is still to play, but five points clear of Huddersfield. The international break has come and gone and we now have a very tough match away from home against Swansea as we try to make it three straight wins. The team is at least fully fit. It's the one good thing about being in the championship during an international break is the team actually gets to recover. Um, now we're going to be playing with Frias, Coupadon and then Bomb up front with Bakaria and Bueno in midfield. Then it's Marin, Soler, Gennaro, Lambeze and Fernandez, the back five and Amago in goal. Well, nearly an hour into this very tight game, we do finally have the first highlight. The ball going straight into the arms of the keeper. Both sides looking very even at this point. We are edging possession, but not necessarily the chances. Here's Marin, though, and he reverses a pass for Frias. He's clean through on goal, but he took it a little bit too early. He should have maybe taken another touch there and then slotted it past the keeper. But that is the first chance, and it has fallen for us. Garay sends the ball in. Tete tries to head it back on, but Marin is there and he's given the ball away to Gerard, and it's a good save from Amago, but the defence again letting us down. Tete with the corner, trying to send it to the back stick, but Amago does a good job cleaning up. All right, it's less than 10 minutes to go and we still have not made the breakthrough. I'm going to make one final change in the hope it will do something, bringing Hickman on down the wing, but... This is going to be another frustrating result. There's been virtually nothing happened in this entire game. But here's a corner for Swansea. Put into the middle. Hits the crossbar. And we get another lucky escape. We've had a few of those already this season. And they could be crucial come the end of it. That could have been one point more dropped. I mean, we've already dropped two at this point. But unless we get something here. Hickman back to Beccaria. He then pulls it over to Bueno. All back to Gennaro. Now pass on to Pospisil. Ball just cleared away by Swansea. Desperate defending, really. Hickman then switches a flank. What a ball. And Lambezzi's header comes to Bakaria. Frias round the corner for Coupadon. And it's on the line and cleared away. So close there. If we'd had a little bit more luck, that would have just bounced over the line. And we would have robbed Swansea of the points. But as it is, probably a fair result. A nil-nil draw. Not what we wanted, but definitely 
a fair reflection of the game, I think. And it does actually leave us now six points off Norwich, which is disappointing, but we're six points clear of Huddersfield, although Everton can close that gap down, as can actually Swansea and West Brom, who are seven points behind us with two games in hand. Well, the final match of this episode is away from home against Bristol City. It's a game we should really be winning. We have a few players back from suspension, such as uh, Max Morris in midfield. Uh, Bueno's now moved up front alongside Cupidon and Frias. Bakari and Morris back together in midfield. Uh, Marin's at left wing back, Fernandez at right wing back, and then Pas Pask has come into central defence alongside Soler and Lembeze with Amago still in goal. Fernandez with the throw in, eight minutes in. Morris having a clean run at goal, and he's nearly squeezed that into the bottom corner, but the keeper got across well. Well, Cupidon has the ball. He's then fouled by Udo. I don't think it's going to be anything serious. He gets a yellow card for it, but we have a free kick near the halfway line. Soler pushes it forward to Morris. Now Bakaria. Poor pass, but it does find Bueno. Cupidon can slip that through to Bakaria. Wasn't quite able to take the ball in his stride and run through the gap. Fernandez being forced away from the box, but he finds Cooperdon. He finds Frias. Ball switched, but cut out. Morris again. Cooperdon onto Frias. A lot of pressure here. Slipped in towards Bueno, and he does finally get a goal. It's been a while since he scored, and he rather outrageously becomes the first player in our entire squad to reach five goals, which, given the number of games we've played, is not okay. Here come uh, Bristol City on the attack. Coventry over to Goodwin. Now Kaputska. He loses the ball to Morris. He's got to be careful. He's on a yellow card. Bueno switches the flank brilliantly to find Frias. He holds off one defender but can't keep the second away. Pass gone to Morris. Bueno trying to switch the flank there. He had a better option on his outside. Bakaria round the corner to Marin. Three in the middle to aim for. He puts it in. And Cooperdon is there for 2-0 and his fourth of the season. Ball sent out wide to Bailey. He whips the cross in and it's gone in as well. I think it's, yeah, it is an own goal from Pask there, which is not ideal. They still haven't had a shot on target, Bristol, but they do have a goal. Omega sends the ball forward to Bueno. He then puts a beautiful ball through to Frias, but the keeper's managed to save it. I thought that was going to just slip past him, but he didn't quite have the legs to go. Corner from Bueno, sent into the near post, headed straight back out towards him. He then puts it into the middle for Fernandez, the last man. Out wide, cut away, and now they can counter-attack Bristol. Ball down the line straight to Pask. Now Solaire puts it forward, but gives it away again. The team constantly giving the ball away here. Pask has it once more, finds the ball down the line for Marin. Now it's uh, Cooperdon into Bueno, over the top, and Gedson Fernandez is in on goal. And he can't beat the keeper. Soler, 15 minutes to go. Finds Hickman. Now Frias is fouled by Shirovella, who's already on a yellow card and looks set to get a second. There it is, a red card now for Bristol City. Already a goal down. That should hopefully be the end of the match for him. Morris has a resulting free kick. He's gone for goal, but it's straight into the wall. And Bristol can get the ball away. Fernandez with the throw in. Finds Lembeze. Now Fernandez again, he's got players across him, and Cooperdon is there to make it 3-1, wrap up the three points and become the second player in the team to reach five goals. Morris on to Cooperdon, nearly at the end of the game now. Hickman bringing it forward, switches it over to Fernandez. Two minutes of added time to go, Bueno running into the box, finds Pospisil and he makes it 4-1. His first goal for the club as well to round out a very good win. Late corner here from Bueno, cleared out by the defender. Now Wilson has it with 10 seconds left. It's not been a bad episode, this one. 10 points from four games is not a bad return at all. Uh, shame it wasn't 12. It was so close to that perfect episode. But a good 4-1 win here. Uh, getting a few goals on the scoreboard as well which is always nice to see and it means that we are still six points behind Norwich who are looking like the best team in the league by some way at the moment but we are seven points clear of the teams below us although they have games in hand and that could become a much much slimmer margin uh, in a couple of weeks time. 
But that is going to be it for this episode. It's been quite a good run of form. We've just had the one defeat. It's not as bad as maybe I thought it could have been. Um, and our season as a whole is very, very strong. Certainly stronger than I expected it to be. Um, and looking ahead to the next match, we've got a couple of very big games. We've got Aston Villa, a Premier League team at home in the EFL Cup. Fourth round before then having West Ham at home. Uh, the game after West Ham, one of the teams challenging us near the top of the table. We do have Bradford City, 19th in the league before that. We're playing a lot of teams based at 19th position. Uh, and finally, we'll finish off against Gillingham in the last match of next episode. But a few interesting games in there. The two against Aston Villa and West Ham will be particularly difficult. But at home, we have every chance. So do drop a like on the video if you're enjoying this start to life in the championship. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see how we get on going forward. Um, but until next time, see ya.